Hello and welcome to uh, a long overdue painter day. Uh, this painter day is de devoted and dedicated to uh, our glorious leader, whoever he is. Is it you? No, it's not me. But anyway, it's our glorious leader, and we're painting a couple of. Well, I'm painting a couple of miniatures, and I'll go and show you what I'm painting now. Run VT. Okay, so this is what I'm doing for my paint of the day. Uh, it is the uh, free centurion you get when you buy the Hail Caesar rulebook from uh, Warlord Games. And I believe his name, according to the Warlord website, is Titus Aduxus. I don't know where they're going from. But anyway, there you go. Centurion Titan Aduxus is the chap that. Uh, I'll be painting. Now, unfortunately, because I was a cheapskate, I didn't buy my Hell Caesar uh, from uh, the rule set from Warlord. I bought it off Amazon because it was cheaper. So this one was actually sent to me by um, Mr. Super Chippy because he didn't want it for his uh, army. Now, what I've done, oh, and here he is on the front of the book. There you go. So I'll be painting him up like this, uh, roughly. Um, I'm not too keen on the white leather, but uh, so I'll probably make that leather leather. Uh, but everything else will be pretty much the same. His shield might be a different colour, but I'm not painting the shield today. Anyway, so uh, right, what I've done is because the the actual miniature itself, uh, they just seem to have stuck a flat standing miniature on a big lump of uh, lead. So he didn't look particularly attractive, so I cut all that off and I balanced it up and uh, I bunged some milli put on it uh, to build the base up so as it all looks as though it's actually standing on some ground. I did a bit of uh, grooves on it so it looks like it could be possibly you know, some sort of sedimentary rock or something sticking out of the ground. We'll see what that looks like. And I've stuck a few stones and bits of grit on the top just to... Uh, Make that look like it's, you know, there's that earth bank coming up over a bit of a stone sticking out of the ground, sort of thing, to give him some sort of uh, credence when he's standing amongst all the other legionaries. So that's him. Like I say, I'm not painting his shield today, I'm doing all the shields at the same time for the whole, um, un you know, the whole unit, so they'll all get done at the same time. And plus, uh, I haven't ordered them yet, the shield decals, so. Um, that's what we're doing today. All right, let's get back and see how he's doing. Um, like I say, I'm doing him. Uh, I primed him now, but uh, a late edition. I thought I'd do this uh, standard bearer. I can't remember what the names are in Roman. Is it something like signifier or something like that? Um, but I uh, thought I'd do him. The reason I'm going to do him is because I'm going to try him with... Uh, flat base colours um, and then use a dip on him. I haven't used any dips on the Romans yet but to be honest with you I'm getting a bit sort of fed up of using washes and highlights because there's so many to do. So I'm going to try him out as a as a dip and see what happens. Um, I'll try and do him properly <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't mean that dip's not doing it properly but uh, anyway. Right okay now uh, Seriously, let's go and see what he's doing. And as I said, let's go and have a look at what he's doing. What are you doing? Um, I am painting for my... This is my glorious leader. Um, I'll show you some static photos in a minute. Uh, he's going to... He's my, it's the Dark Angel Commander from the Dark Regent set. That's him. Good. Excellent. How many Dark Regent sets have you got now? Um, uh, two. <laughs> how, many, how many painted? How many have I painted? Yeah. Probably about... 20% of one. <laughs> yeah, no, no. How many shrink wrap boxes have we got in over there? Uh, yeah, I've got I've got one in shrink wrap over there, but uh, that's a bit of a story. So, um, I, I was at a trade show last weekend, and uh, a, a, a ch chap that does railways has taken on Gay's Workshop account in North Devon. North Would Devon. You, North Devon. Um, if you want to, there's some more details. I'll, I'll put pop it in my video later on. Um, yeah, North Devon, and um, he. He gave me a very, very, very good price on a Dark Vengeance set. And I thought, well, I can double up on the cultists. I can, some of the command figures I can paint up and maybe sell on um, to uh, to get some more money back so I can increase my size of my 40k army. And, um, yeah, and he gave me, a, he bung me a load of free Space Marines as well. So, yeah, really nice, 
Really good. That's why I've got two. Yeah, he's suffering from the 40k phenomenon, aren't you? I'll tell you what else I'm going to do with the hell brew. I think um, Farron Adams, he did this a while back. He converted a hell brew using components out of the Demon Prince. So I'm going to nick Farron's ideas and construct some sort of unusual beast because obviously I don't want two hell brutes looking exactly the same. No, you don't. No. Anyway, so uh, shall we get on with some painting? Yeah, shall we stop talking about 40k? <laughs> Yes, please. Can we stop talking about 40k? Is, you're painting Romans today, then? I am painting Romans, yes. So, historical versus sci-fi. Yeah. I might have to nip over to the Steve's shop and buy um, a little tub of wash. Is that the only thing you're going to buy when you go over to Steve's shop? I, mean, I might buy them corn berserkers as well. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I've, I can't stop it. I've got, I've got, I've got a problem. I admit it. But I've got shoulder fighters. What? <laughs> I don't know. Some forty k terminal problem. So how much do you reckon you spent on forty k in the last since Christmas? Uh, well, I bought them. The biggest one was with, with the Death Watch. That was fifty two quid. So uh, the Demon Prince, he was 20, so that's what, 50, 60, 70, 80, 9, uh, for probably about 100 quid since Christmas. Is that all you're admitting to? No, that's probably more or less it. I think? Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to win the contest for the cheapest army. <laughs> <laughs> right, then, off you go. Two cloth, go waste some more money on Games Workshop stuff. So, what have you been doing? I've been painting two figures, as I said before. I've been painting my um, Dark Angels. I'm just trying to stop wobbling my legs. <laughs> Dark Angels um, uh, Commander out of the Dark Vengeance set. He's just I've just done the, the uh, armor the armor and uh, washed it before I start applying some different colors. And I'm switching it up with a figure that I'm going to show off tonight in my video. Um, a black, black, Dark Watch, Death Watch. <laughs> I'll get there. Deathwatch um, uh, Dark Angels figure from the Deathwatch Overkill box set that I bought at a elaborate expensive prices. I think it was, I, th I do think I do think you're a bit of a well. That, I mean, that figure was seven pound fifty. So if you put it into retrospective, if that's the word, yeah. But as we as we as we as we, as we bought it off the rack as a, as a plastic figure in 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 a, in a blister pack, it would probably cost you ten quid. Wouldn't it? Yeah, it probably would. But unfortunately, you could have bought the entire box for 80 quid from a discounter, and then you'd have got all of the figures and all of the Gene Stealer cultists. And yeah, they look the nice. Rules, and all of the cardboardy bits, and all of the dice, and the problem, me you know, and measuring sticks and everything for an extra 20 quid. In hindsight, everything's a lot better in hindsight, isn't it? No, no, I'm not. I, no, 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 no. I'm not having this because. When you said what you were going to do, what did we say to you? No, don't do it. Don't do, don't it. do it. Wait until it's been released. Then you'll be able to pick everything up and do it cheap on eBay. And what's happening? Yeah. I'm like, little, listen, I'm, you? You I'm like a little boy on Christmas. Shop. All my presents Games before it. you got the Games Workshop disease of, oh, it's going to be released on Friday. Got to get it. Got to get it. Yeah. I, I, I was prescribed it the other day, GWD. There you go. Supposed to be working on a, a cure. What's that? Well, they don't know yet, but they're working on it. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> deary, deary me. Well, anyway, right. Uh, what have I been up to? Should we just try it? What? Rock, rock paper, scissors. <sighs> right. One, what? Two, stop, 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 stop. Right. I just need to explain to people, right? I did something earlier on. And ever since, he's never stopped about it because I was doing silly things like this at the, at the camera and he thought, oh, rock, paper, scissors. So now we've got to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> you saw me pull my fist before as well. Best of three, come on. Best of three. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> That's, it. That's it then, isn't it? I won. That's the first battle you've ever won. 
<laughs> that's, that's quite a few you've lost. <laughs> <laughs> I never won, ever. <laughs> It's always best. It's always best to be a loser. If you're a winner, everyone wants to get get at you. So, I'm probably gonna have loads of comments now saying I want to challenge you to rock paper scissors. I never wear anything. Nah. That's, no, why, that's, why that's why. That's why. That's why I'm such a good humoured person. Because I don't have the pressure. I don't. I don't have the pressure of winning. You see, I don't have to. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to live up to, because that's every right. game I've ever played, I always lose. No, it, it, it's it's good to lose. It's nice to win, but it's good to lose. Character building. Character building. It makes you a much better person. I find that losers are much better people. Yeah. I'm a total loser. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I... Right, getting back to the subject of this, yeah. right, I have uh, got me two men. I'll try and flash them up to the camera, but you'll probably see them at the end. Um, you don't want to flash up to the camera. No, I don't want to flash up to the camera, but there you go. Uh, I'm just priming them, well not priming them, but um, base coating them. I've done the armour and I've done all of the uh, brown underpainting for the bronze and the leather. Uh, I'm just going to do his uh, bare skin, whatever it is, over his thing and the wooden bits. And then we can get on and do some bit more painting. So that's it for now. Have you had your dinner? Yeah, I've had that. Oh yeah, because we started late, didn't we? Why did we start late? Uh, uh, I don't know, why did we start late? Because you were on the phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you went out to the shop. I nearly bought some more Games Workshop, but I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I had it in my hand and I put it back on the shelf and walked out of the shop. So, what so why? I didn't know that Steve's shop sold Coke, does it? Coke. <laughs> That's what you went out for. You went, you went out for a can of Coke, is what you said you were going out for. Oh, it was, yeah. But on the way, on the way to the corner shop is Steve's shop. Uh, when I say Steve's shop, it's not my mate Steve from a Silent War game. And it's um, the, the chap around the corner called Steve, and he, it's called uh, Clexels or whatever. But he sells Games Workshop stuff. Not, not a great selection, but and and, and as you went walk past the door, you could feel the pull of the shiny, couldn't you? This you could feel it. Normally, so oh, you nip off to Steve's at least once, once or twice a day to have a look at things. Well, I've been buying a couple of paints, and I, uh, you know, I was running out of washes. Right, we're going to get on now. Okay. Yeah. Right, catch you in a bit, and we're back. Uh, it's a bit of a quick update. Um, I just. Ran the camera over what I was doing to show you a bit of a bit of a close up. So uh, let's go and have a look at that. Right, so here we are. Um, we're about halfway through. I've just basically got the base colours on him, and uh, this one the base colours on. Right, uh, what's going to happen now though is that uh, I've got a few more little bits and pieces to do with him. Then I'm going to give him a, an Agrax wash. Uh, all over. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm doing them like I've done the rest of the Romans so far, as I said. Um, so you know this sort of methodology will be approved, will be done. Yeah. And then this one, um, I will do some. Uh, I'll paint it like I paint the Prussians. Uh, I'll do like the, the quite high highlights because he's going in the dip. So um, there'll be a bit of a change. So obviously, once I put the wash on him, he's not gonna. It'll it'll be game over for him for a few hours because I like to make sure it dries properly and stuff. But I will carry on with him and get him ready for the dip. All right. Okay. So there you go. That's where I am. Uh, where are you? And don't say Gravesend. I mean Kent, really. <laughs> no. Um. As I say, I'm doing two figures. Um, the one I'm doing for this video, um, he's sh shaping up. He's got all his base coats down. He's had a few washes on. I've gone back in, re-highlighted. Uh, so he's about, I'd say, 65% done. And I've got about an hour-ish left. So I'll have to speed it up a little bit now. You will, won't you? This is all because you were messing around this morning, wasn't it? Well, yeah, and uh, I was harvesting some crops earlier on my on my farm. No, you weren't. I was. No, you weren't, because I actually recorded you fighting a castle. Let's go and have a look at that. Oh, did you? <laughs> Rum VT. <laughs> you working hard there. 
You what? You're working hard there. Yeah, I, I am. I'm waiting for something to try. And that's how the Legion spends most of his days, actually, is sitting there on his iPhone, playing these silly little games. Thank you. And buying Thank DLC, whatever it's called. Breaking your eye. Well, yeah, you are now, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, I think I can stop you. Curly Whirly. So we have to know what that means, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> what, Tristan? Yeah. And I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, right, we're going to better crack on because, like I say, he's only got an hour left. So um, I can go. I can go all day. Do you know what I mean? I can just keep going. <laughs> can you? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Karen tells me. <laughs> no, no, it's a family show. All right, see you later. Do you know? Every time I switch my camera on, right, there's, there's the best looking guy sitting back in the viewfinder, and I turn this way and I can see you. Wait, it, you must have a forty camera. Probably, it's probably that's probably it. Anyway, have you got them? Ah, before uh, we, bef- uh, no, I, whoa, 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 whoa. I tell you what, well, let's do me first because we always do you first every time. So I, I don't know whether you've noticed, but subtly in this, we've done, you first, we've done me first all the way through, haven't we? All right, so uh, let's have a look at uh, where we are. Run VT. Thank you very much. So at the end of the paint of the day, um, he's ready for going under the dip. As you can see, I've just added added light. Lighter colours on him because it's going to get quite dark, and I'll touch them up afterwards when he comes out, and I'll give him a matte coat and see what he looks like. See if I can do the rest of the Romans like that. And he's had a wash, and he's just uh, he's, he's dry now, but um, I haven't got time to, to do anything else on him. But I'll do another video at the end of the week with these pair, or maybe early next week, and uh, bring you up to speed on them. And we're back in the room. Okay, right. So what have you done then? Right, what have I done? Yeah, I've, I've finished. Um, I'll, I'll probably I'll send you a fo- photo in about fifteen minutes when this wash is dried, and then um, yeah, it's more or less done. You'll see it now. I tell you, it is hard work painting Space Marines because they're all it's all got to be crisp, sharp lines and. None of this uh, rag clothing on the uh, Napoleonics or Romans, where you can get away with multiple sins. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's painting the day. Happy um, wish, 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 happy birthday to J- Jamie Tranter. Happy birthday, Jamie Tranter. Not that you'll ever have seen this, not that you'll ever hear us say that, and not that many people will ever get that far. <laughs> so it's a special treat if you get to the, end of the treat video. to the end. Happy birthday, Jamie. All right, okay, well, it's uh, it's uh, done, dusted, and it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from me. Bye-bye. <laughs>